One sir, and good evening everybody, man with a plan here. Welcome back everybody to Imperion Galactic Survival. Hope you guys are doing well, hope you're doing great. I am super pumped to be back on this game. I've been having so much fun playing on this. Thank you guys for the amazing amount of support for this series on the channel. Really, really happy you're enjoying it, and I'm getting to play a bit more too. And a huge thank you for all your tips and suggestions. I really, really appreciate it. So at the end of the last episode, this happened. Yep, that's, that's our ship. Um... Still kind of been trying to think of how the hell I'm going to get around this issue. Um, sadly, I was over there and I did try launching the drone, but he is just slightly too far away for me to access its power menu or its or its control panel, should I say, from the drone without it losing disconnection, which is a huge pain in the butt. So we're going to have to figure out another way to get that down. It's a huge, huge thing. Um, also, we built weapons on the ship, which means any moment now, we're going to start getting hassled by the Xyrax and their drones again, which means we need to put some base defenses in place. Some base defenses in place on the base place, so I don't get shot in the face. Sounds like a good idea. And also, we turned level 15, which means we're going to have a huge amount of upgrades that are available for us to do. Um, let's have a quick check on, firstly, what it will take to get some of these weapon things, because we have these, the projectile turrets. Uh, we do also have the rocket turrets, but it requires more cobalt alloy, and we need to go back to the moon and get more cobalt, but we can't because my ship is currently stranded. So I want to get a few of these. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to need. I don't even know how, what ammo they take, but we're definitely going to have a play around with these today. So let's try to make, say, four of them. Just as a start, one on each side of the base will be a good idea. We'll get that guy up and running and rolling over into our upgrade tree. In the world of upgrades, we have broken level 15, which is super sweet. We want to be getting some kind of better fuel pack because we have some Promethium now, and fuel is becoming quite a pain in the butt. So I feel like I'm going to unlock that guy. The fusion cell we've been carrying and using is actually really far away, so we're lucky that we found those things. Uh, under weapons, though, we have many things to play with. I want an upgraded shotgun more than anything in my life. I also would really like a minigun. Wait, I bet this is all going to take cobalt, isn't it? This is all going to take materials that I don't have. Mechanical component, shotgun upgrade kit. I still don't know how to make these upgrade kits as well. A rocket launcher would be fantastic, but most likely a hardened steel plate. That's going to require cobalt. Pulse rifles, T2. I don't think we're going to be able to make any of this stuff. I really don't. Not until we get some more materials on the go. If I scroll up, can I see what you require? Yeah, rifle upgrade kit. I don't know where to get that stuff. Maybe that's something that we have to find in order to be a thing. Also, I'm going to buy some light armor, I think, because my heavy armor is insanely a huge pain in the butt. But sadly, the only way that I can actually think of getting my ship down is we're going to have to build another ship to get the first ship, which is a huge pain in the balls. So let's hop into... Let's use the other constructor, actually, because that guy's going to be busy making weaponry for our base defenses. And we're just going to make something really simple, really little and nippy, just to go and retrieve the other one because um it's a huge pain in the butt so let's get ourselves a starter i actually have quite a few things here we've got a fridge and a cargo box uh don't have a generator don't have a thing yeah that's that yeah we're gonna have to do this sadly it's a bit of a pain in the balls but it's gonna be the only way to do it so i'm gonna rack together the bits that we need for this and i'm just gonna build this guy off camera because it's gonna be something little and sweet and uh, i'll show you guys what i come up with when i'm done god dang this garbage weather it's been raining the entire time while I've been trying to build this little guy. So this is what I've put together. It's just a little bog standard kind of fighter plane kind of esque thing. A couple of spotlights, a little bit of jets. Uh, there's some RCS. There's one there. A couple more underneath the fuel tank. I finally found a purpose for the gigantic engine that I have, <laughs> and um, even got enough space to put uh, a little cargo box and a little fridge on it as well. So this will do as a little kind of need to get somewhere quick little run around. Um, Probably would be a good idea to try and fit some weaponry on it as well, since we have peeved off the Xyrax. But just wanted to um, bring you guys back and show you the kind of layout that I've put together of this uh, before I close it up. So you can see what it was kind of made as, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yeah, almost done. And, um, oh, Red Rocket is uh, still floating there. Hasn't been struck by lightning yet. That's good. Okay. This is what we kind of came up with at the end of it. It looks a bit like a turtle. So I think I'm going to call it the Sky Turtle. Sounds like a great idea. A little bit of guns have been added to it. Ammo container inside. We've got a couple of little shutters. One side's got a fridge. Other side's got a little storage box. Just for a little bit of bows and whistles. And this guy we're going to kind of use as our little run around on this planet, I think. You know, it could be useful. Is the MWP... It is still floating. It's been like four in-game days and that thing has still not ran out of fuel so I'm kind of happy I decided to go for this. Um, I'm interested to see what it's going to be like with this giant thruster. I built these two 
to use as the um, as the downward thrust and then realized that it was going to completely ruin the shape. So these went back here as well, which I feel is going to be great fun too. Already got a little bit of fuel inside it. Let's head on in here. We'll go into our alternate view and our V so that I can kind of... Oh, alternate view. There we are. Pan ourselves out a little bit. It's quite nice. I, I'm happy that I did finally build a little spaceship, like generic kind of fighter style ship. So this will do quite well for a little run around for us, but I'm gonna use it to retrieve the MWP red rocket. Let's try our best here to fix it. Uh, let's see here, main power. We've got a little bit of fuel inside here, not a huge amount. I'm gonna rename him Sky Turtle. Perfect, love it. And uh, let's give her a go. Whoa, ooh, that's quite a little bit of a little bit of boom. Oh, yeah, not so bad at all. That's not bad, not bad in the slightest. I got I got three RCS inside of here. That should do quite well for us just to get us moving around. She's a little bit, little bit maneuverable. Not too bad at all. Quite can deal with that. I also found out if we hold the O on the keyboard, it brings us level to the horizon, which is really quite useful to know. So let's try and dock. Whoa, 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 an approach. The red rocket from behind, very, um, gingerly. If I can get the nose of this ship to sit kind of between those two kind of fins on the back there, then maybe, just maybe, we'll actually be able to get her out of here. Let's use our keyboard controls and try to just kind of very carefully approach the red rocket from behind. I was really expecting that this thing would have fallen out the sky in the time it took me to make this ship, but it looks like it's a thing. Let's kind of bring ourselves down about there, do you think? There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Little collision there. There we are. Just snuggle in there for me, yeah. That should do fine. I'm hoping beyond all hope that when I get out of this ship, I'm not going to fall to the floor because then I'm going to end up with two of them up here. That would be horrible, in which case of that fear, let's get a little bit more over the top here. There we are, and then kind of bring a brick. Oh, the landing gear came down. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we're uh, definitely in a good position here. Just um, need some Barry White playing over here, don't you think? <laughs> okay, fantastic. So let's try this V and F. All right, I'm on the ship. I haven't fallen to my death yet. That's good. If I can just get to... There we go. There we go. All right, good. Now, my second worry is what happens when I turn the engine off on this thing, because um, I'm not going to leave you up here, so you can get turned off. Uh, okay. All right. Sky Turtle has actually landed and docked on top of the red rocket, which is great. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Oh my god, let's get inside here and try and get this thing out of here, shall we? Oof. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Uh. Okay. Well, now we know what happens <laughs> when um, it runs out of fuel. Or when you get inside. Has it just ran out of fuel? Has it like finally ran out? It has. It ran out of fuel and needed me to get inside of the cockpit to update the fact that it had ran out of fuel. Um, the other worry... I want to... I must escape from the red rocket now. Oh my god, now this one's on the floor nose down and I'm stuck inside of it. Wait, we had spare fuel, didn't we? No, we had spare oxygen, not spare fuel. Crap. Yes, I have got myself into here. So I'm kind of working my way towards the door of the ship. There's a tree in the way. The chainsaw won't get rid of it. Oh, God, kill me. Yes! Ugh. Oh. Yes, I'm free! I am free from the cage that is the MWP. Oh, my God, it's all over. I'm finally out and I'm able to refuel it. But I feel like... Oh, God damn it. Okay, so, um, don't let yourself starve to death while you're piloting your ship. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And also having an external uh, cockpit is incredibly handy for moments like this because my door is like on the top of this thing. I've got to break my way into it to be able to access its godforsaken cockpit so that I'm able to actually get this thing out of here. And then I still have to figure out how on holy hell I'm going to get that one down 
because even though I turned it off and the engines aren't running, it won't fall to the floor unless I get inside the cockpit as well. So this is going to be a pain in the balls. Okay, I finally got the red rocket back in the sky, which is great. Now the only question I'm having is how the holy hell am I going to get this one back down? Can we literally just force it down? Is that something that we can do? Uh, if I could actually pilot. All right, little sky turtle. Now it's Rocket's turn. Uh, nope, the thing is as solid as a rock. It will not move. Okay. We took the red rocket home, made some repairs, got a little bit more fuel, and now we're back. Very, very carefully attempting to dock with the Sky Turtle. And I think I have an idea. If this is going to work, I will be happy. Let's see what's gonna go on here. So my plan is, is what we have to do, is we're gonna have to open these doors, deploy the little ramp that we've got here. That's it. Now what we're gonna have to do is stay inside of this ship, turn the power off, and when it starts to fall to the earth at a frightening speed, we need to jump out there and board the Sky Turtle. And then this MWP, the Red Rocket, will fall to the ground, and we will be inside of the Sky Turtle, and both of my ships will no longer be in the sky. This is the plan. I would like to get a little bit closer, if at all possible. That's it. I'm noticing now exactly how cumbersome the Red Rocket is. It's very, very cumbersome. Can I get just a little bit more there? That looks... Pretty freaking sweet. Little little touch of the sea. No, no, no. Space bar a little bit. All right, let's try that. All right, good. Now we should be pretty much right on it. Yes. Okay. Now I'm wondering if I'm standing on the ramp, will it class me as being in the ship? There's only one way to find out. Wish me luck, guys. Let's hope this works. So power off. Escape to exit. Turn F. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think it's the right. Right, one finger on escape, one finger on F. All right, power off. It's not falling. Crap! I need to actually be in the cockpit to be able to do this. This isn't gonna work. Why does this happen, game? Why do you just float here as if nothing was wrong in your life? Oh God! Perhaps we are missing something else. Maybe if we are actually on top of the ship. Maybe that will do it. And then we have to be inside of the cockpit when we turn off the power. Perhaps that is what we are missing here. Because we turned off the power to the Sky Turtle when we were actually outside of it. Perhaps that will solve the problem. And the gear down. <laughs> okay, if I turn off the power... We do indeed begin to fall at an alarming speed. Okay, that's not going to work out so well for us. All right, let's try it this way. So inside of the red rocket, we've got the sky turtle above us. The power is off. I am hoping that when I get in it, it will begin to fall, and I will be able to exit and get back inside of this ship. That is the plan. Let's try it. Huh, huh. Get out. Get out. Oh, no, it's not going to let me out. <sighs> well, I've tried everything that I can about think of to try and get this thing to fall from the sky, and it just completely refuses to. It really, really does. Um, and admittedly, after flying this littler one, this guy is clumsy as all holy hell. We must have made some fatal error. A couple of you guys had dropped some comments down below to try out using a secondary cockpit, one for landing. Um, and what was the other suggestion? Oh yeah, more engines. More engines, less storage could be very useful for us too. So I think we're going to stick with the little guy that we got for the time being. I will try some other ideas to figure out what we can do if this actually happens to any of you guys to find a way to get your ship down from the sky. Um, and I'll have a bit more of a play with it. But I'm kind of ran out of ideas now. And I'd like to give this little chap a bit of a play around. And we've got to get our base ready to go. Or we're going to end up with some severe problems from the natives. So let's see if we can get ourselves down here. We'll get this dude for the time being to come and hang out with us. Don't crash into the water, man. 
don't crash into the water. And we'll try and get the MWP Red Rocket down at some point for our next trip to the moon, which we will need to do because we're going to be needing those materials. It's definitely going to be a thing. Uh, in the meantime, though, oh, 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 actually, if I just hit zero, yeah, that'll do. So, with all of that craziness out of the way and taken care of, we did make four of these projectile turrets, which I'm quite interested in. Uh, the projectile rifle round is actually for me, but I don't know what ammo these things take. It doesn't quite tell me that, but it does say it's a uh, openable tier of placeable so there's going to be different styles of them that we can place down i definitely want to be checking that out i'm thinking on top of our kind of ceiling porchway up here would be the most logical place for us to put some of these sadly i put my solar panels right to the edge of the structure but i definitely like to see what these guys look like and how they function hopefully we can figure this out today at least let's have a gander here are you huge oh oh okay yes you are pretty dang huge oh check it out minigun turret retractable Oh, that... No way. Retractable turrets? What? Oh, I want to know how this functions. I want to know how this functions so badly. So, does that actually, like, deploy out of the ground? Or what happens here? How do you function? Ugh. I gotta know. I gotta know. It has to be placed on our base, so we're not going to be able to put it next to it there. Let's try just with the idea. Like, normally they always came from this direction as well. So what if I just went like this for the time being and seeing how well it functions? A retractable one. Oh, I want to know. Oh, I want to know. Do it. Uh, okay. Hang on a second. It's there. How do you work, buddy? Oh, you look super cool. Oh my god, you look baller. Wait, wait what is that? Press F to remote control? Oh, no way. <laughs> 30 millimeter bullet. There it is. The cannon turret needs an ammo box with a 30 millimeter bullet. Oh my god. That is one beefy gun. It says retractable. I want to know how it retracts. We're going to have to try this out. So we're going to need an ammo container and some 30 millimeter bullets. We can take care of that. No problem. Uh, you. Construct a thing. Get to making 30 millimeter bullets. An absolutely insane amount of them. 15 mil. 30 millimeter bullet. Um, output count is 70. Let's make 100 of them. Construct a number two. You, my friend, shall get to work on the ammo container controller. Ammo container controller, and let us get a couple of extensions for that bad boy as well, for sure. Now, is this the base one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, SVHV. Did I do that? Yeah, SVHV. That's not the one I want. Dang it. Aha, they'd be locked still. There's probably a few more things we could look at unlocking. We still have an insane amount of points going on in here. Gravity generator. We could actually get the better generators and such things. Elevators, the large constructor, the advanced one I want to get, but we don't have the materials to be able to do that. Here it is, ammo box. Ammo controller, container controller, and the extensions. Beautiful. The repair bay, we actually have a T2 repair bay, but we don't have the repair console. We could look at that, but again, Zascosium, Cobalt, we don't have the parts to build it, which is a huge shame. We've got to get to the freaking moon, like, so badly. I think in the next episode, we're going to have to get to work on a CV, because these Lesvies, they don't have as much things... To them as I kind of hoped they would you know there's no respawn point there's no medical devices it doesn't really have as much stuff to them as I would have liked and I really want to take a look at a capital vessel but we are going to need an insane amount of resources it's basically going to be like a flying base which I really like the sound of anyway so that's definitely got to be a thing uh, all right we've got a couple more of these guys we could well we could we may as well put them down what is this one though retractable Oh, wait, this is a minigun turret, and those are cannons. Oh, okay. Oh, I want miniguns. I want miniguns. Why wouldn't we want retractable miniguns on our base? Up there. That would be a great place for a retractable minigun. But I kind of want to know... I'm guessing it ju does just retract into the block of which it is sitting on, which is super cool. Um, and that way, I could actually rebuild these into my base a lot better. We can give a try with that one over there as an experiment, don't you think? If I can get myself over there... Ugh. Yes, we've done it! Uh, so what size is this thing? Is it a 3x3? Three three? Yeah, just for funs, what greenhouse is not complete without a minigun built into its ceiling? 
You know, every greenhouse needs a minigun built into its ceiling. He who lives in a glass house, after all, should have a minigun mounted on the roof. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That 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 is exactly what I want. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, no. Did that just fall to the floor? No, it didn't have enough support. You're kidding me. Oh, that, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. How could such a thing happen? Oh, don't tell me it's attaching to the light. <laughs> that's not going to work at all. Okay, now we know that that's not going to work. I uh, replaced it with the ceiling. I think would work a little bit better. It'll, it'll be a little bit raised, but you know what? We're just figuring this stuff out, so it's totally fine. I definitely want to see if it works, though. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. And again, F to remote control it. Oh my god. And this takes the 15 millimeter bullet. All right, excellent. Now we know. So it means what I could have done is actually taken out part of the landing pad and built these things into it, which would be super freaking cool. But um, I don't think I'm quite set up. That's, that freaking chip is going to taunt me forever. I don't think I'm quite set up for that. Base isn't quite designed for that, but we can definitely give this a good test out and then uh, make some adjustments, although probably incorporate it into our next build. Let's put this guy down here as well. So we've got two mini gun turrets and a cannon all facing over towards that horizon where the douchebags normally appear from. I'm going to order up some 15mm bullets and then we'll have a little bit of a play around with how these things work. But it's night time now. Let's have a nap. Ah, it's a beautiful day to be playing with weaponry, don't you think? Oh no, the flashy lights again. That means we're running out of power again. God dang it. Such a huge pain in the nuts. Uh, how have we done with actually building all the things we wanted to, though? Oh, we've got a lot of those bullets, that's for sure. I'll be taking those, thank you very much. The container extensions, those are the SVHP ones. We don't want those. Output 2. We've got those guys and all of these 15mm bullets, too. Sweet. All right, good. Just to try this out, let's get this guy down. Where would be a good spot for an ammo container? I feel on top of there. I think on top of there would be a good spot for an ammo container, don't you think? Done it again. That's the one for the SV and the HV. There we go. That's the boy we wanted. You can go and live up there. There we are. All right, excellent. So let's go into you and feed you all of the bullets that we've made. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put the rest of this stuff inside of our storage here. And now let's go check out what these guns are doing. You seem to have not retracted. I wonder why that is a thing. I can still remote control you. Oh, you're reloading. Oh, you're reloading. Uh, oh. Oh, I like you. Oh, you look like good fun. You look like a lot of fun. I bet the minigun's fun, too. Hi, buddy. Look at the freaking size of this gun. That is beastie. Oh, baby. Can I kill myself with my own minigun? Is it possible? Apparently, I cannot. I got 50 pros reputation with the Zyrax for firing at myself. That's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I take down the stupid ship? I feel like it's probably out of range, the same as it's out of range of everything. You can use the D-pad to control it as well, which is pretty nice. Hi, Mammon Plan. How you doing there, buddy? Feeling good? How's it going? No? <laughs> oh, I so want them to come and attack me now. Now I am actually defended. I'm assuming that these will be automatically controlled as well, but what I'm wondering is why is it retractable? If I press the power menu, and into the main here. If I disable turrets and weapons... Oh! Oh, that's amazing. That is super freaking cool. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Oh, I love that. That is super awesome. How much fun can that be? And if I press F on it now... Oh, it deploys itself up because I have requested its control. If our way out again, are you going to de undeploy you'd think that you would ah it's an orange oh that's so cool 
I love it. I absolutely love it. That is super amazing and awesome. All right, sweet. So we've definitely got a little bit of the way of defenses, which means we can go out and play for a while. Um, thank you guys for the amazing support on the last video. As I said, we got some great comments and some fantastic ideas to play with. And one of you guys said that for the Prometheum Ore, it's an absolute pain to find unless you're using an ore scanner. Over inside of our technology tree, if we head over to the tools section, I need to build another texture and color tool because I can't find my one, but we have an ore scanner right here. Let's get him. Sweet, we also have the Drill T2, already unlocked. And over in the world of the Constructor, if we head over to here, under our tools and weapons for ourselves, uh, here's the Drill T2, but it requires a Drill Charge, which I couldn't make because I didn't have Prometheum. But now I have Prometheum, so... Output count is five, let's try to make... Five of them? Not six of them. Sounds great. Um, and I think I'll actually need to make another T2 drill, which would be very, very handy. Now, where is the ore scanner thing? There it is. We'll show underground ore rocks within a range of about 20, 30 meters while handheld drill is equipped. Ah, very good. We'll get one of those guys up as well. And then I feel like what we're going to do is we're going to head over to this weird area that I found over here. Because over... Yeah, just on the outskirts of this kind of weird biome here. We found a Prometheum deposit, but I couldn't actually get into it. There's also an alien tower there, which could be great fun to check out. Um, I feel like we're probably near about time on the episode. I am trying to make this one a little bit shorter than the others, but it always turns out to be a hugely long episode on Empyreon. But I'm happy that you guys enjoy it, because I greatly enjoy it too. We'll let this stuff craft up, and we'll check it out. Aha! Our ore scanner goggles are just completing. We've got ourselves a little bit of extra drill charge and a new T2 drill. And I'm definitely curious in this. How much Prometheum has that left me, I wonder? Got some Arrestrium there. Uh, it took five to make all of that. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. I'm happy about that. Oh my god, this is so much better than the HVs. God, that rough terrain was such a pain in the butt on a HV. Now it's super easy. Oh, I love it. So much better. Oh, holy hell. Yeah, this is definitely a weird looking place. Now, I didn't really approach this little patch because there was a couple of uh, gun drones hanging around. So I didn't really hang around very much to check it out. Oh, wait. Radiated fog? Is that just convenient timing of me arriving here or is it actually just a radiated fog? Like, oh no. Uh. I think we ran out of power. Um. Okay. Kind of put the last of my power inside of the uh, base. And, um, didn't notice that, uh, Sky Turtle's dead. That's, that's really not a good thing, because now we're trapped in this weird place. There was gun drones around, and it's radiation and all sorts of terribleness. Thankfully, I have my armor, at least. And hopefully, we'll be able to make some kind of fuel to get this thing moving again from here. I was clever enough to pack my little portable constructor. Uh, so we'll take these guys, and we'll just get these dudes down. So I can at least get some kind of, like, a save and respawn point around here, perhaps? Well, it's an, it's an interesting turn of events. And then at least when it turns nighttime, we'll be able to get here. Thank God I've got my armor and my tools and such things all hanging out with me, which is great. Do you think I could just, like, chop down some trees? Make some normal crapo fuel? What is this? Oh, these are the Pentax things. Sweet. These are in here? What is this? What's this weird plant? Do I get something from you? Wood. Fantastic. I heard a strange sound. And then I literally just thought... I wonder what kind of nasties are hanging around in this kind of biome. Probably not anything very good. What the heck is this? Oh, don't tell me this is what I think it is, right? It can't be. Is it? We got a rock drill? Oh, that's it. Oh, wait. Promethean bearing rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's very good. You know, what? we're going to end up finding cobalt and things here as well, and I never would have had to have gone to the damn moon in the first freaking place. I can't cut down that tree, apparently. This place is some fresh kind of hell. What a horrible looking area this is. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. These weird shiny trees are pretty awesome, though. Ah, oh, this thing's ran out of fuel as well. Of course it has. Oh, no way I can make the standard little fuel packs here. That's sweet. Alright, good. Got a little bit of fuel on the way. 
terrifying irradiated lightning rains down above me. My sky turtle is also dead, laying on its back with its feet up in the air, completely croaked. It's 37 degrees outside, 25 inside of my suit. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely crazy. I am very eager to have a little bit more of an explore around this region, though. This place is amazing. There is so much of this Prometheum ore just laying around on the floor. It's absolutely great. I found another rock, though. It looks like it could be silicon. It is indeed. It's just some silicon. That's okay. This new T2 drill is awesomely cool as well. The sun is just starting to dip below the horizon. I've managed to refuel the beautiful sky turtle, and we will be able to make way now. What? I thought something was pushing me. It was just me pressing the wrong button like a derp. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves another one. Another Promethean deposit. A small one right nearby me here. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. Let's just go and check that one out. Oh, yes, we have to. I, ha I haven't seen any signs of anything like cobalt around, but if there's cobalt here, I am going to be such a happy man. Such a happy man. Let's try out this new scanner thing you guys recommended, because I'm definitely keen to check this out. Can I land here? My landing gear never wants to come down anymore, and it makes me sad, but I don't really mind. Alright, beautiful. So, I've got the thing... Oh, wait, yeah, I can see it! Oh, that's why I couldn't find the Prometheum. It's like in, like, random scattered little chunklets. Oh my god, that is so useful. Oh, that is so cool. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, yeah, it works with the drone, too. I started digging myself in the hole again for some ridiculous reason. It's weird, man. These Promethean deposits, they have a level to them and a health bar, rather than just being part of the terrain. It's super crazy. I wonder if we see other ore deposits using this thing as well, but I'm really, really keen to check it out. Oh, thank you guys so much for the tip. That is really massively helpful. That is around about all the time that we have got for today. We built ourselves an amazing new little creature, the Sky Turtle. We failed miserably at trying to get the red rocket out of the sky and found a little bit of a bug in the game, which may cause some problems in the near future. We got ourselves a brand new drill. We've got ourselves deployable base weaponry. We found all the Prometheum fo food. Fuel will no longer be an issue. Well, it is food. It's food for my base. And we found this amazing radioactive, terrible, sad biome where I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time between this episode in the next, gathering all the Prometheum I can find and searching around for any other amazing ore. We checked out the amazing ore scanner goggles that you guys recommended and they're super awesome and unbelievable. That has been quite an eventful day. Thanks very much for joining everybody. I'm going to call it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. If you have, do a man a favor. Hit the like button for me. Let me know about what you think about the game, what our next step should be. Tips and tricks, suggestions, and just general heartfelt feelings about what you'd like to chat about. Do love catching up with you guys about this one, but I'll call it here, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next one, and until then, my friends, take care, everybody. All the best, and I can't wait to see you all again soon.